Hey everybody, look what I got in the mail today, the PlayStation 4, which arrived pretty quick. I ordered it uh, just yesterday, and it arrived today on November 6th. As you can see, it uh, sold for about the same price as a slim model. Uh, but I didn't want the slim model, I wanted the original one. Uh, for a couple reasons, I like the design better, and plus it's bigger, because I'm going to have this under the uh, Xbox uh, One. And as you can see right here with the Xbox One, the exhaust is here on top, so i got to put it on top of the PS4. Now I know uh, Dean from Escape the Game and recommended the uh, PS4 uh, Pro, but uh, that's no use to me. I don't have a 4K TV, so I went with the original one. Now I used to always get the back in the, the early 2000s. I wanted all the uh, uh, all the new tech when it came out uh, during the sixth gen, but uh, I uh, wait on the new tech nowadays because it's uh, cheap. Uh, Cheap that breaks easy on you. I'm uh, on, gonna, gonna be going on to my fourth HD TV. Uh, not once do, do I recall a, a CRT TV ever breaking on a, on us. My mom always uh, got new TVs just just because I wanted a new one, not because the old ones were broke. They used to make things better that last long, whereas this new shit breaks on you very easily. So I'm not uh, not that uh, in a hurry to get new tech. I'll wait until it's a low price. So I'll get a 4K whenever it's uh, about $100 or so. So I'm not in a hurry. Yeah, speaking of uh, back then when I always went to, didn't want to be left out on the new tech, uh, I remember S-Video. Uh, I knew about that technology, but we didn't have TVs that had the input, inputs or the cables. So I finally got into S-Video around 2016 when I got a TV that had one. Oh yeah, I was one of the first person people I knew uh, that actually got an HD TV. I got mine like in 2006. But uh, anyway, let's open this on up. As you can see, brand new. I want it brand new because I heard uh, on Amazon and other places getting a used one. They've been having problems, so I wanted it brand new. Which was uh, a little difficult find this one. None, none of the old model, this model, the original models were in stores. I looked around a couple of places. Had to get this on Amazon. There was two of them for a reasonable price. All right. Uh, I want to tear this. Oh, yeah, I didn't sh show you the back of the box. I gotta show everything off for uh, reference. The only unboxings I've seen of this was in uh, Spanish that I could find. Right, on the bottom, we have all this uh, serial numbers and stuff. All the contents right here, jet black. Uh, this isn't the original, original, but it has some internal changes. It, it seems like of the three models, the original, the Slim, and the Pro, they each had three different internal revisions. This is the second revision, you can tell right here. Okay. start guide right here okay we got the controller right here wireless of course I hope uh, the my Xbox one the headset works because I don't think this one comes with a headset With uh, the internet game multiplayer being uh, prevalent, you'd think they'd uh, include the headset, but uh, like the 360, everyone has a 360 headset. Uh, and uh, most people complain uh, online, why don't you have a headset? It came with the system. Particularly, I like to play uh, Left 4 Dead. Uh, I have both that on uh, the 360 and the uh, 
PC. Of course, the PC almost basically no one has a headset, whereas 360 you should have a headset. And if you don't have a headset when you're playing 360, everyone will, will complain to you. Why don't you have a headset? Came packaged. Whereas in the PC version, yeah, most people have to type on the fucking keyboard, and that's a pain in the ass to communicate. If you played Left 4 Dead, that's a real team-based game, so communication is key there. All right, what we got here? We got the uh, power in there. Got the HDMI cables. Let's see, what the hell is this? Uh, USB for the uh, controller. Uh, is this the uh, headset here? And mic might be. And the system itself. The system itself. Yeah, the uh, they said the uh, third internal revision doesn't ha it has the matte black and not the, this gloss right here, so that's how you can tell the difference. Now I heard the third revision of uh, this one uh, is more efficient and I believe a little bit uh, quieter with the fan. But uh, the guy on Amazon was I I talked to two guys uh, to send pictures. This was the only one that sent a picture of what the uh, box looked like, so I went with him. Even though the other guy was a little bit cheaper on the price, but uh, I like to see what I'm buying, so I didn't go with that one. All right, the PS4. Got all the uh, inputs over here. Now, if I'll, if you better wear, uh, watching some of my videos, you know why I bought this. Uh, now the uh, PS4. Uh, with the PS5 coming out uh, next year, uh, instead of waiting, it's uh, because uh, Shenmue 3 is coming out this month. I'll be live streaming that. Now, another YouTuber was uh, complaining, uh, well, said something. Uh, uh, the re uh, system's only worth getting if it has 50 good games. And I was wondering about that. Uh, how many uh, games do people buy on average uh, when they get a system? Now, uh, it seems they call that an attached rate. The highest I seen was the, uh, if the uh, numbers are correct, you, you know, uh, using Wikipedia, was the Sega Master System, and that was for every system sold, uh, the people bought 20 games. But if you uh, go down the list, it seems, uh, go down of the systems on there, it seems it averages about uh, 10 to 5 games. But uh, in this case, uh, what they found out back in the Atari ages you, uh, to sell systems, you got to have a killer app. Anyway, what happened was, and this is a an important point on on video games, is that like I say, the 2600 wasn't doing well. Atari said, "That's it. We're going to get out of that market." Um, big controversy over at Atari. Nolan Bushnell left the company because they wanted to bring somebody else in. That somebody else said, "Okay, that's it. No more of this home stuff. It's never going to go anywhere." But they still had some stuff in the pipeline, and one of the things they had was Space Invaders. And that's the secret of all this stuff, is the killer app. The hardware can be as good as you want, but unless somebody's got a game that they want, and everybody in the world wanted to play Space Invaders at home. And so suddenly, all those 2600s that they had in the warehouse all flew out the door, and they said, well, we better make some more of these. And within a very short period of time, millions of these things are selling. So now, back over at Intellivision, <coughs> they say, or at Mattel, they say, hmm, let's pull that Intellivision thing off the shelf again. Um, which means uh, one good game, that's worth buying the system over which the Atari it was the uh, Space Invaders because uh, when it came out it wasn't selling too well but uh, once that game came out all their old, old stock in the warehouses sold out like that and then it, they said it uh, quadrupled the sales of the console well for me the uh, killer app is uh, Shenmue 3 which is uh, which is why it took so long to finally buy the system even when it's on its way out all right, there it is. Let's give this a test. This one knows it doesn't have a button. It's uh, 
wave your hand in front of it like the PS3. I believe the uh, third revision of the original is uh, has a button on it. English. Uh, first thing, internet connection. All right, the uh, splitter is having a problem with it. Press the button. US English again, next, and set up the network. Uh, Eastern, that looks about right. Yeah, the time looks about right. Not going to read that. Alright, now we're uh, starting up. System update, user. Internet, Capture Gallery, Live from PlayStation, The Playroom, What's New. See if I can go to the store without being uh, signed in. Well, I gotta do that later. I know I could buy things off the PS3 unless that's not transferring over. So I gotta do that later. And uh, that's the PS4 for now. I uh, expect that uh, P the ah, Shenmue 3 playthrough whenever that uh, comes in sometime. Hopefully before November 19th. That's its uh, official release date. Uh, I kickstarted that. And uh, before we go, that was the box it came in. Uh, it was shipped in. Uh, no packaging around the, the box. It seems just a little bit bigger than the PS4 box itself. Alright guys, I'll see you next video.